welcome back to the Origins Summer Preview 2015. I'm Eric Summerer here with Scott from Arcane Wonders. We are looking at the latest yes. version of Mage Wars. Yes, this is the new expansion. So we're actually pre-releasing this here at Origins. This is Battlegrounds Domination. Okay. This is going to introduce a whole new expansion type to the Mage Wars universe. So as you can see, this is not the typical Mage Wars right, board. This is not a rectangle. No, it is not. What, it what is do you very call different. This shape. It's sort of like a. Uh, it's a lightning bolt. It's almost. abstract, I guess. Okay. So uh, the concept is that you have these tiles, and they're all puzzle cut tiles that snap together. Okay. Uh, you'll notice that some of them have different images on them, and they do have different in-game effects. Yeah. But you're able to use uh, the multiple tiles that come in here. I believe there's 16 total that are in the box. You're going to be able to make whatever arena style you want to make. Uh, and that's just the beginning. So if you okay. decided that you wanted to make an abstract arena, you wanted to make a T, or you wanted to make a long column, maybe mm -hmm. you just wanted to do a corridor all the way down the table, you have complete freedom to do whatever you want to do. Okay. But on top of that, the idea of the Battlegrounds expansions is they're going to let us explore new gameplay. So this one comes with a scenario called Domination, and you'll see that there's these little orb guardians that are out in the center areas here, and these Vitar orbs, and they okay. have an onside and an offside. You're going to be able to battle over the orbs. They're going to give you additional powers, and you could potentially win the game instead of me destroying your mage by gaining Vitar points by capturing the orbs. So, give you a whole new reason to play the game, a new way to shake up your spell books that you might be already familiar and used to, okay. and maybe redesign and tweak them a little bit as well. And like I said, this is going to be a whole new line of expansions, so we're going to be exploring other gameplay options as well. Uh, we've toyed around everything from dungeon crawls to other style of video game type rules, like Domination is a lot of Video game players are familiar with that, so okay. we're going to be bringing a lot of different things out in this series. But we're really excited about it. The tiles are really vibrant, the colors are beautiful, the artwork looks great. There's all new spells, and the fun part about the spells is that these work with the main domination scenario, but they also work with regular Mage Wars Arena. So if you are a Mage Wars Arena player who may not want to get into all of this, there's still a lot of spells for you to get to be able to augment your spell uh, your spell books for your regular play. So, so lots there, of options. Are there new mages in here, or is it primarily new spells to augment the existing mages? Correct, the latter. It's going to be new spells to augment the existing mages. We really focus this around getting more spells out into the wild, and then bringing uh, bring out the puzzle cut tiles and the scenario play as well. So right. we're really excited so, about it. This is, uh, you have a few copies here, but when will we yes. be able to get this uh, in the wild? Yep, so we're pre-releasing at Origins. We have a limited copy here. Um, if you are here and watching this, I don't know when you're getting this up, but if you are, come by booth 201. If uh, if not, we're doing, uh, you can pre-order online or with uh, friendly local game stores for an early July release. We're looking probably right after July 4th. Excellent. So, yeah, we're really excited about it. Lots going on. And then later this year is Mage Wars Academy. So we are previewing that here for the first time in the public at Origins. Okay. Uh, it's going to be prototype copy so it's not final production copies. Um, but that is a very different style game. Many people have seen that we rebranded Mage Wars to Mage Wars Arena. Arena yeah. So Academy is going to be a much more portable, much more faster experience with Mage Wars. Still give you the spellbook feel, still give you the customization and the strategy, but you can play literally in 20 to 30 minutes. It's on the go. You only need your spellbook. There's no board to play with. Hmm. So it's going to give existing players some really cool, awesome new ways to introduce friends to the game and play faster on the go. And it'll also be enticing to hopefully new players who haven't maybe looked at Mage Wars before and gone, oh, that looks maybe like a little too much. This is going to be a little bit more you know, enticing for them to look at the game and say, hey, this looks like something I could get into. So, so we see, we'll see that later this year? Yeah, we're, we're hoping right now, fingers crossed, uh, for Gen Con. So okay. we're doing everything we can to do a pre-release of Gen Con. But as you know, in the industry, it's always a, an adventure and yeah, a, a game in and of itself. Yes. It's like a worker placement game getting your games to the state sometimes. <laughs> well, you so. have to keep yourself entertained <laughs> somehow. It is, yeah, exactly, exactly. So, yeah, lots going on with Mage Wars. Really happy with it. So. Excellent. Thank yeah. you, Scott. The yep. latest from Mage Wars. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com.